Hello again, it's great to be with you. I hope you're having a really great day today. Uh, we're working our way through James's letter to the church, and we're right at the end of chapter 2. Um, so today we're looking at the last two verses, uh, verses 25 and 26, uh, where James says this. He says, In the same way, was not even Rahab the prostitute considered righteous for what she did when she gave lodging to the spies and sent them off in a different direction? As the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without deeds is dead. So James is reinforcing the message that he's been preaching over the last uh, couple of days as we've gone through this. He obviously knew that his audience needed to hear things in a variety of ways to be able to absorb them, understand the things he was saying in the depth that uh, they needed to understand it. So he reminds us of this story of Rahab the prostitute who was considered righteous despite her lifestyle because she had heard about the things of God, that God did and had believed them. And she said that, oh, James says that not only was that, that wasn't enough for her to receive salvation in itself, but because she believed in God, she believed in the things that she'd heard and then acted on behalf of the kingdom of God, she did find salvation. Faith and deeds working together in her. She knew God is a good God and she worked for his glory and not her own. Rahab was a prostitute, James says that to us. But that fact was ignored because her heart wasn't for anything other than seeing the kingdom of God come in the place where she lived. That's a great call for us. What do you want to do? What are you prepared to do to see the kingdom of God come in the place where you live? Forget about what your shortcomings are. What are you prepared to do for God? See, if we truly walk with God, we should be able to respond to his call at a moment's notice. We should be able to recognise his voice or his touch and have the faith to step into the things that he sets before us. And that can change moment to moment. When we're able to do that, mountains will move, the sick will be healed and the dead will rise because he will be at work in us. And that's something we should be striving for day after day. So let's do a bit more striving today, shall we, and pray together. Lord, please send us more of your spirit. Lord, help us to set ourselves aside to create more space for you. Help us, Lord, to demolish our preconceptions about what faith is and what discipleship is. And help us to receive everything that you want to pour into us. Lord, help us to be people who are channels of your peace and of your power. I pray, Lord, that you would help us to move in the power of your spirit, that your kingdom might come on earth and that, that we might see your glory at work. So help us today, Lord, to put ourselves to one side that we might receive more of you. We ask for the glory of the kingdom and in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day.